Weigh-ins with a scale. Okay, so remember the scale, as you will know by now, if you are doing anything like this, you would have heard a thousand times, or should have heard a thousand times, that a scale is an indicator. Weighing yourself and getting kilograms is not a pure indication of body shape development, okay, or whether you are gaining fat, gaining muscle, losing fat, losing muscle, any of that. What it does, what it does do and how it can help is it's an indicator. So, for the 12-week challenge, every Monday or Sunday, if you are measuring on a Sunday because you don't have time because of kids and everything on a Monday morning, so that's fine. Just send it through to me on Monday and you can just, just do the same thing each time, okay? First and foremost, when you weigh yourself, you will do so first thing in the morning before you've had, after your ablutions, if that applies, if that's whatever, but before you've had anything to drink, okay? Number two, Weighing yourself every single day or weighing yourself once a week. There are strong, there's a lot of strong opposition to using a scale every day. My outlook on it is quite simple. If you're somebody whose mood is affected by what you see on the scale every single morning, stop. It should not dictate the mood for the day. It's an information session. If you are playing around with different kinds of foods or if you're trying to figure out if something makes you retain water or if you are playing around with quantities of foods or whatever the story is and you want to just monitor whether it had a, a subtle difference each day. Bearing in mind a couple of hundred grams isn't a major issue but if you want to monitor changes that you're applying in your daily life then get onto it and use it as an information session for yourself but I'm only interested in it once a week. Having said that it's also not necessary. There's a measuring thing, protocol that I want you to follow. It's more important. I'm more interested in seeing centimeters gained or centimeters lost. Hopefully the centimeters gained, which does happen, it does happen because we are exploring new options. We are not cutting calories that we can't function and can't live and the weight is going to fall off us. That is not what we're trying to do. The weight should come off, but for some of you, it might be a different set of circumstances. You might not be eating enough and your body might need a couple of weeks to adjust. You might be holding weight because you're not eating enough. And if you suddenly start eating more, you might put on a little bit before it starts to come off again when your body goes, oh, okay, this is a good thing. There's consistency here. So I understand it might go up and don't be alarmed. All right. So I need that weigh in. Um, uh, the, the measurements are most important. I'm going to get to the measurements in another video, but the way in is there. It's an indication. Use it, don't use it. You can put it on the sheet or you can leave it off. I'm not too concerned. I would like you to try to weigh at the very, very beginning, just as a bit of an indication. But if you can't and don't have a scale and don't want to go buy one, I'm not too fast. All right. If you do use a scale, the only things that you need to know are Obviously, if it's a very old one and it kind of like is one of those ones with a needle that moves, those ones aren't that unreliable. They're quite old. Usually the springs have gone and it's all sorts of funnies. It's up to you. Um, I personally don't know if I would trust the consistency of a, of a very old scale, but if that's what you want to use, that's fine. Secondly, if you're weighing the floor that you're weighing on, don't weigh on a soft surface like a carpet. Even wooden floors tend to have a bit of give depending on how old they are. So be careful on a wooden floor. There's a bit of give that could affect the uh, consistency of your measuring. Also on tiles, ideally you want to, if there's a tile, you want your whole scale on one tile. All little four feet of the scale on one tile. Try not to have the feet on four different tiles. I know that sounds pedantic, but tiles are not always level. So if you're going to be doing this, these are not for you to become like pedantic and ridiculous. Like I said, I am a type, but I also know that when we're working so hard to try and achieve results and the way that we are doing or monitoring those results is not consistent. How is that going to help you? All right. So that's the scale guideline. Use it. Don't use it. Don't be afraid of measuring every day. That's part of my daily routine. Also, it's something that I only started doing once I'd gotten to a point which was quite some time ago where I knew that I pretty much plateaued when it, came, when it came to my muscle development and when it came to my fat loss. When I'd reached that level of relative consistency within two kilograms, two to three kilograms in either direction, usually up and then back down, not down and up. Um, but then it's my, that's my monitoring. If I go, okay, okay, I've gone up a bit. All right, okay, I've gone up a bit. Ooh, okay, I'm going up more. Okay, I better calm down. All right, so that's kind of why I use it, especially when I'm trying new stuff. All right, use it, don't use it.
that is my guideline with respect to scale measuring in kilograms.